Hello guys, what's up, what's up, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. How are you guys doing? Hope you guys are feeling great. Hope you guys are blessed. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. You know how it is here. We keep the life real, real simple. And today we are back again. It's been a while and I really miss you guys, but we are back on it. You know how it is here. We keep the life real simple. So today I'm here with an amazing video, a very interesting one. I know that you're gonna love. So um this is the title of this video is Mary in the Quran and this was done by Ahmed Detat. Yeah, Ahmed Detat. So let's see what Ahmed Detat said about Mary in the Quran, which is like I'm very anticipating to watch this video. This is my first time watching this video, so let's bounce. Let's go. In the Quran, chapter 19. Chapter 19, Surah Maryam. You know there is a chapter in the Quran called Surah Maryam, meaning chapter Mary. Who's Mary? Who's this Mary? Mother of Muhammad? No, no. It's the mother of Jesus Christ. Wow. In honor of her name, there is a chapter enshrined in the Quran, chapter 19, as Surah Maryam. I said, such an honor is not to be found given to Mary, the mother of Jesus, even in your Bible. Do you know that? You have no such book as Mary in your Bible. This is the... This is the King James Version, the Protestant Bible, 66 books. It starts with Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, and, blah, 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 and then Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Peter, Paul, James. Mary is not one of them. Mary is not one of them. In the Roman Catholic Bible, same, same. Mary is not one of them. In the Quran, you have a chapter called Maryam. With the meaning. With the meaning, it says, Behold, the angel said, O oh Mary, inna Allah has tafaki, Allah has chosen thee, wa taharaki, and purified thee, wa tafaki, Allah nisail alameen, chosen thee above the women of all nations. Mary, the mother of Jesus, is described in the Quran as a woman chosen above the women of all nations. And I'm saying that this honor, this high honor, is not to be found given to Mary, the mother of Jesus, even in the Christian Bible, whether the Protestant version or the Roman Catholic version, I have them both. Nowhere you find anything like this. It continues. Ya Mariamuknuti li Rabbiki wasjudi warka i marakin. So, O Mary, worship thy Lord devoutly, prostrate thyself and bow down in prayer with those who bow down. This is part of the tidings of the things unseen which was revealed unto thee, O messenger by inspiration. News was given to Mary, the mother of Jesus, about the birth of the Holy Son. She says, how can this thing be when I know not a man? In the biblical language, no means sex. No, no, to no means no in sexually. Not she doesn't know a man. She knows her uncle, her, her fathers, her neighbors. Surely she knows other men. But no, no, no. No in the biblical language means sex. When I have, in the Quran it says no man has touched me. Again it means not touched me, means had sex. Both the Quran and the Bible wow. are saying the same thing. The replies to them are revealing. In the Holy Bible, the answer to Mary's protest was that the Holy Ghost will come upon thee. I'm reading. I'm reading the Bible to you. Look. The Holy Ghost will come upon thee and the power of the Most High will overshadow thee. Now that gives you a mental picture. The Holy Ghost is a person. That's what the Christians say. The Father is a person, the Son is a person and the Holy Ghost is a person but they're not three persons but one person. I don't know whether you heard that expression before. But he's a person. This Holy Ghost will come on Mary. How? See, it gives you in your mind. It means you think, how? Like a man and a woman, like a bull on the cow. How? The Almighty will overshadow her. How? No, no, it gives you a mental picture. So I'm suggesting that it gives you a mental picture. You know, how? The Holy Ghost will come on her. We know it's a miracle. We agree it's a miracle. But the language that you are using, the language is down to earth language. The Quran says, Waiza kada amran fa innama yakulu lahu kun fayakun. For God to create Jesus without a human father, he says, Kun, he says, be, and it is. 
For him, it's just to will it and he comes into being. That in, the, in these verses, the story is that the mother of Mary, she, she was barren for a long period of time. And she prayed to God. So, oh my Lord, if you give me a child, I'll devote my child for temple services, for your service. I'll dedicate her. And God heard her prayer and she became pregnant from her husband. And in time she delivered the child. And the child happened to be a female. And she was disappointed. She had vowed that that child she will dedicate. Imagining, thinking it will be a son, a male. But it happened to be a female. What is she to do? She had vowed. So she buys her time when Mary was big enough that she can look after herself, her toiletries and, all, toiletries and all that. She takes this child to the temple for handing over. And the priest in the temple of Jerusalem, they're seeing this beautiful child. Everybody wants to be a godfather. You know godfather? That's how the Westerners say, you know, to look after the child as his own. Everyone says, look, I'll look after the child. The other one says, I'll be the godfather. I'll look after the child. And there's competition. So they started casting lots. Hero tail, hero tail. And it came to the turn of Zechariah. Zechariah won the toss. The father of John the Baptist. He won the toss. But in things like this, there's always a dispute. You, say, you didn't play fair. <laughs> you, know, you didn't throw the dice nicely. You know? So there was a dispute. So the Quran says, the Quran tells us that, Oh Muhammad, you were not there when they cast lots with arrows as to which of them should be charged with the care of Mary. Nor was thou with them when they disputed the point. How do you know these things? How does Muhammad know? He is an illiterate man, a man who doesn't know how to read or write. How does he know this? So, Allah gives the answer. This is part of the tidings of the things unseen, which we reveal unto thee, O messenger, by inspiration. This is how he got this knowledge. Whatever is given to him, he's got no choice, he's got to utter them. That Mary, a Jewess, the mother of Jesus, she is a woman chosen above the women of all nations. It doesn't make sense. When the Jews were looking down upon the Arabs for 3,000 years, do you know that? They said Father Abraham had two wives, Sarah and Hajra. Sarah and Hagar. We, the Jews, they say we are the children of Sarah. The first son through Abraham, Isaac. And from Isaac to Jacob and Jacob to Judas and Judas and his brethren, the twelve tribes of Israel, Jacob and all twelve tribes of Israel, and we are the Jews, the chosen people. Coming from this noble ancestry of Abraham through Isaac. Ishmael is the son of Hagar, Bibi Hajra. Ishmael is the first son and through him the Arabs. They are cousins. Father Abraham is the father of the Jews as well as the Arabs. But the Jews have been looking down upon the Arabs for 3000 years. That these Arabs are Hagarines. In the literature they call the Arabs Hagarines. Means the children of Hagar, Bibi Hajra. And Islam, they say, is Hagarism. <laughs> the religion of the children of Hagar, <laughs> of the Arabs. Hagarism. <laughs> These are the titles they give us. The Jews, our cousins. And yet this man, Muhammad, is honoring a Jewess to the skies. Amazing. It's unbelievable. You can't believe. I said, if Muhammad did that job, why do you do such a thing? It's a silly thing, Wallah. It's a silly thing. Hmm? He's offending the Christians and he's offending the Arabs the Arabs naturally they feel that another Arab woman might have been a, a likely candidate not his own mother Muhammad's mother not even his mother not his wife not his daughter when we believe that his daughter Fatima will be the leader of the women of paradise but no even her name is not mentioned in this book her name is not mentioned Muhammad's mother's name is not mentioned not a single of his wife's names are mentioned amazing this book so people get puzzled you see when they get a book like this you present them they are looking for Muhammad his family history and you don't find it you wonder who is his father you know his father's name is not there you don't know where he was born it's not here do you know that 
Where, who was his father? Who was his mother? Where he was born? Where he died? Nothing, nothing at all. Why? Jesus, his, his enunciation, the good news, is described in two places in the Quran. Two places. Muhammad's birth is not mentioned at all. Muhammad is mentioned five times. Jesus, 25 times. Moses, 136 times. <laughs> no, no, no. This is a very amazing book. The Westerner, see, he just can't seem to grasp. He is looking for a book. We will tell him once upon a time. He is used to once upon a time syndrome. Everything must be once upon a time. Once upon a time. He is looking for once upon a time. And this book is not a once upon a time. It is not. Hmm. 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 Damn, damn, damn. This is an amazing one. <laughs> this is an amazing one. Like... Um, I've not heard this part from Muslims before and <clears throat> I feel like this is let me know if it's an eye-opener it's, it's something I've not heard before and I'm actually excited hearing this thing and I really want to get your feedback I want to know what you think about Mary in the Quran let me get your feedback let me get your comments let me know what you think about this video and how interesting this video is Watch out for the next video. We'll be here again. This is the showroom. Welcome and make sure you like, share and subscribe.